Guys, Oggs here from the US. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about Frank Lampard dilemma at number nine role. Who to choose? Olivier Giroud, Tammy Abraham, or Michi Bachwai? It is a very tough question, and people are accusing Tommy for being very small, not tough enough. And other people are accusing Michi Bachwai for not being real boy enough. He's been all over the world on loan, so we don't know really what he is about. And Olivier Giroud is not fast enough. He chooses his games. He's finished. So really, we don't know what to do. Frank Lampard doesn't have any, ch any choice because Morata is on loan, and um, and Higuain is going back to Juve. So he has to really deal with what he got. He doesn't have any choice. So that is a good thing, and also it's not a, a good thing because. He can't do anything he wanted to do. So for me, we've been through a lot with number nine, man. We've been in the downside more than we've been on upside because in the recent memory, we can just remember maybe Didier Drogba and uh, Diego Costa. But after that, man, it's been like up and down, you know, Torres and Morata and whatever you want. But for me right now, I would really say all of them deserve equal chance. The problem we had in the past is coaches who are not even looking at other options. If they choose one player, is that player or nothing else. Antonio Conte or Maurizio Sarri are all the same. They are so stubborn and stuck in a certain style of playing that they don't see other options that are available to them. So for me, I will do differently. How am I going to, 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 to fit all of them? Guys, guess what? Rotation, it's called rotation. If you see Pep Guardiola his first year, he used more Jesus or Jesus guy more than Aguero to discipline Aguero and whatever it was. And now he's just rotating, giving them games, real games, Premier League games, Champions League games, not stupid cup games only, you know? For certain people and real games for other people you have to rotate rotate the team is the key to keep the team happy and healthy and keep the competition alive and get some good result you deserve for me Michi never been given any chance it's always one game here another game there and then after all people start judging him just because he didn't play good for one game and they forgot he's been on the bench for the entire season and you can't judge him in one game when you give 30 games to Morata to improve and Morata has all the excuses in the book for why he's not scoring but for Michi Bachuai, yes, because he's not good enough. He doesn't look good enough. His uh, hold up is not good. It's always something, something wrong with him. But people don't see what is good with him. People forget that he is a fox in the box. People forget that he won at the league. He's very good uh, poacher. And people just forget that. But for Morata or other striker, oh, they deserve a chance. They deserve another chance. A friend died. Oh, his wife just said babies. Oh, all that. Why can't you give the same excuses to the guy? To Michi. And for Tommy, if you go there, ah, oh, man, I don't believe it. You know, uh, Swansea City, it wasn't good enough. Oh, oh. 
or whatever, Aston Villa is just the championship. But people don't see it. It's not everybody that will score so many goals in the championship. People forget that our championship is better than the French League or Russian League or sometimes I can say even Bundesliga or something like that. It's tough enough. Just give him a chance. And Olivier Giroud, he's soft. He doesn't run enough. Only the League Cup is good. Yes, we all know that. But have you ever gave him a run of games? Have you ever let him play three games in a row in real competition? So, man, for me, give all of them a chance. And the end of that, you can choose your number one. But even though you choose your number one, in this point in our uh, story at Chelsea Football Club, we need to rotate and give everybody a chance. Let's 